Hey, Royals. Oh, we're not Royals. Hello, Speckle Chicks and Funky Junkers. Joy Smith, you are my first watcher. Make sure you message me your mailing address. I'll send you some bling. Hello, Christine. What's up, y'all? Hi, Shannon. Oh, my word. I got no room underneath my desk because I've got so much crap underneath there. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Jenny. Hey, Jacqueline. What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday, y'all. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, Kathy. What's going on, chicks? I hope you're having a fabulous Monday. I'm trying. I've been busy, busy bee. Okay. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Dolores. Hey, Lynn. Thank you guys for sparkling. You guys got a bunch of you in here already. What's going on? Happy Monday, everyone. Okay. So, I uh, thank you, Jenny. If you like my shirt, I do have it linked on my Amazon store, y'all. Um, ew, you've been sitting in the doctor. That's no fun. So yes, my shirt is on uh, linked on my Amazon store. It's fun if you like the hocus pocus. It says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus from the movie coming out. Number two coming out soon. Hey Marion. Hey Sharon. Hey Carol. Hey Hazel. So anyway, I've got a cute Halloween craft. I think it's gonna be cute. Um, I've had I got this stuff at Michael's last time I was there, but. I was there over the weekend, and I think, do you guys remember me talking about that curly hat that they had? We're going to play around with this, but I was looking at it. It's on the smaller side, but it's really cute, super sparkly. So I was thinking, I had this from Michael's from a couple weeks ago. I bought one of those, like a bigger cauldron, bigger cauldron. I want to kind of give this a look, and I want to kind of pair it together. I'm not going to glue the hat on top of the cauldron because I... What I think I want to do is put one of those battery operated candles in here and see if it illuminates. So, hey, April. Um, hey, Linda. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to kind of grunge up. Hey, Juanita. I kind of want to grunge up the cauldron. I know I'm totally in the Halloween mood. Um, end of August, September, I start my mojo for fall. I'm so ready for like cooler days and cooler nights. And it's like 84 and sunny here today and stormy. Laura, you can't hear me very well. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else saying they can't hear me. Can everybody hear me? I love fall crafts. Hey, Mickey, I love fall crafts. They're like my favorite, favorite fall and Christmas. Like now through the end of the year into Easter, like I love fall crafts. So Everybody, shoot me some hearts if you can hear me. I think we're good to go. Um, hopefully my iPad's not taking a, you know what. But so far I haven't had any. I do watch myself on repay. And uh, I've never, I can hear my, me just fine. Deal, you like my girl. And I did open up some happy mail on Thursday after I got off my live. I forgot to do it. So I just have to post the video. Um. But yeah, Marsha Rash made me a new one. She was she felt bad that my old one died out, uh, that the batteries stopped working or whatever, the lights. So she sent me a new one. She's so sweet. I'm going to send her back the other one, see if she can restring the lights. I don't know how to do it. Um, so, but yeah, isn't it beautiful? Like a nice fall color one. I still got to bring in my bling ball. That's still, uh, that's still in the backyard hanging in the tree um, from our party. So... And I don't know, I might leave it out there for a while because my husband turns 60 next month. So I'm trying to plan out a, like a, like a, a you know, a, a party for him. And we have like nine birthdays. Hi, Beverly. We have like nine birthday birthdays in September. Me, my two sons, my husband, my daughter-in-law, my sister-in-law, my nephew, and my stepson, Sal. So we're all just crazy. September. So I got to figure it out. So I might just leave the bling ball out there in case we have another problem. So anyway, the first thing I want to do to this cute little cauldron, it's like shiny black. All I plan on doing to it is I want to crinkle it up some. Um, I'm going to use some tissue paper. We're just going to Mod Podge it on there. 
Thank you, Tara. I just got this ring, guys. I'm such a sucker for like anything sparkly and I love wide rings. So this is a sterling ring. I got it from a company called Jazora. Um, and it's beautiful. Look at it. It's fabulous. It's like, like my type of ring. So I like those big and I love sterling rings. Donna, yours is the 12th. Mine's the 9th. My, my oldest son is the 4th. My youngest is the 11th. My husband's the 16th. My stepson's the 23rd. My daughter-in-law's the 5th. My sister-in-law is the 5th. And my nephew's the 23rd, 23rd also. Becca, you do need to make a bling ball. They're so amazing. It's a huge, yeah. Oh, Debbie, that's my youngest son's birthday. Yeah, September, tons of birthdays in my family. It's bizarre. So I'm taking a piece of tissue paper. I'm just crumpling it up. Yeah, you gotta you gotta figure it out. I don't know. I don't want to have a party for everybody. I want to have a party for Mike because he's turning 60. He doesn't want a party, but I want a party for Mike. So anyway, September 6th, Angela. Bonnie, yes, if you see this red light up here, you are catching me live. What's going on? You guys are all still rolling in here. Uh, September's a great month. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to rip up this tissue paper. I'm going to make it kind of crinkly and old. Then we're going to put some, like, lettering on here. I want it to say potions, and I'll show you how I do that. Oh, yours is the 16th. That's my hubby's. All right, so I'm just grabbing out my Mod Podge. Oh, your anniversary is September 16th. That's awesome. So, um... You love big spino. Can you tell I like sparkly jewelry? Yeah, y'all. You know me. I love. You're the 28th candy? That's awesome. So I'm just basically going to like hit just the flat parts. I'm not going to do a whole lot with the handles. Thank you, Beth, for the stars. No, I didn't. Oh, yes. There we are. Thank you, Candy. Sometimes it's hard for me to get all the comments. Thank you guys for the stars. Um, so I'm just going to take some Mod Podge. Yeah, actually, I can see that the end of uh, December for both my kids. And I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and just kind of like work in sections. I'm not going to go underneath the belly of this thing. Um, my daughter-in-law's is the fifth and my sister-in-law. And then I'm just going to take some of this crinkle of tissue paper. And I'm just going to lay it down. And all that's going to do is kind of just give it like a textured textured look. It's just going to make it kind of spooky and old. It does not have to be perfect. Trust me, y'all. You've seen me do this on books and stuff. And just scoop it on there any which way. It doesn't have to be perfect. Trust me. And then just use your brush to get it down there. Just make sure you got enough Mod Podge everywhere. And then if you have to go down around, you just got that pot from Michael's. Yes, I saw this came from Michael's. And wherever it's going to go is where it's going to go. And I'll show you what I'm doing. I think it's going to be cute. I always like doing cute crafts. I don't like the spooky crafts. Some of them I do. And then I got, I'm all full of ideas when it comes to uh, Halloween. So I'm going to go over it and then I'm going to give it another coat over the tissue paper just to seal all that tissue paper down and get out spraying myself with Mod Podge and just to work it all around just press it down it doesn't have to lay completely flat just get it on there now maybe we'll end up doing the legs too I don't know I'm not gonna be too picky about that I just want it to have some texture um, so see, it's going to look really weird at first. Hey, we are friends, Julie. I, I look at my, my, my chicks as, you know, like we're all friends, I think. The world is a better place when you have, you know, people you like to spend time with. I like spending time with you guys. I missed you guys over the weekend, but I had my brother's kids um, all day yesterday and all day Saturday. So they spent the day out in the pool, and I just was putzing around the house trying to get some laundry done, you know, all that good stuff that comes with being a mom, you know, being the CEO of our houses, that's what we do. 
right? All right, so see how I'm just kind of working this? You just kind of go around and figure out where it's going to go and just slap it on there. It doesn't have to be picky. It's going to look really weird at first. Don't worry. Um, somebody just asked how Mike did over the weekend. Not good, y'all. He was struggling. The car was struggling. They had a just stupid stuff. But it's only the second time he's been out, so he's about frustrated as all heck. He is not happy with the car at the moment, but he'll figure it out. It's what he does. I have more faith in him than he does when it comes to his racing. He gets, you know, all crabby. How do I remember all those? I don't even know. It's a lot. Well, mine and my kids are easy to remember, but yeah. Then we got my husband and my stepson. He, we're just like all right in a row. We're a week apart. I'm the 9th, Mike's the 16th, Sal's the 23rd. Yeah. It's crazy, though. So see how I'm just sticking that on there in different spots? It doesn't matter. Wax might be slightly, but can you use shoe wax on projects? I don't know. I've never tried to use shoe wax on a project before. I can't imagine that you couldn't, I would think. Um, but you know, here's my saying, you don't know until you try, so try. Um, shoe wax, I just use the, you know, my bare wax, but that's not to say that you couldn't use shoe wax. You know, somebody try it and let me know. But I suck up on the, the wax from the Home Depot, the bare wax. So anyway, so we're just going to keep covering this cauldron with um, some Mod Podge and tissue paper. And I'm just trying to make pieces that fit. It, like I said, this does not have to be perfect at all. Just get it in there. Um, my necklaces are all touchstone, guys. I'm full of touchstone today. Yes, yes, yes. All touchstone. That's my favorite. For any of you that have been following me for quite some time, I am a consultant for touchstone. They like, it's all Swarovski. I love it. All right, now I'm just going to put some right up here at the top over the handle. Not going to be... And just make sure it's wrinkly so you can get you know you want to get all those flat pieces covered is what I'm trying to do can the bear wax be on furniture I yeah I don't see why not it's I mean have I used it on furniture I used to do a lot of furniture um I don't see why not it's just regular wax you put it oh I mean I use it for more crafting but yeah, I don't see why you couldn't put it on, um, why you couldn't put it on furniture. If you're painting furniture with like a chalk paint or you just want to darken it up some, I would definitely try it. I, I can't imagine that it, that it wouldn't be okay. So I'm just trying to stick this in there. Hey guys. But yeah, I would try it. I don't see why not. It's just your furniture wax. I think that's even how they have it labeled. I use it for more decorative things. I use pear wax on pretty much everything. There's not a whole lot that I haven't put it on. So I remember the price of the cauldron. It was, I don't know, but I know it was on sale 40% off. I want to say all their Halloween stuff is, was 40% off. So let me look at the bottom. It wasn't you know me, I wouldn't have bought it if it was full price, but they do have some cute stuff. Sometimes I feel like Michael's is on its way out the door, and then sometimes, I'm debating on whether or not I should do the handles. I think I might go ahead and just do a little bit of them. Sometimes I think they're not. I don't know. Sometimes I go in there and I'm like thrilled, and then sometimes I go in there and they're just kind of crappy. I don't know. I have my thoughts I have my mixed feelings about Michael. Sometimes they just disappoint and then other times they like, you know, 
don't. So I don't know. Like I said, if they fold over on each other, just, you know, just get it, get that Mod Podge on there to push it all down. And the, the wet, the uh, tissue paper is so thin, it's going to kind of bend. It's going to do whatever you tell it to do. You be the boss of the tissue paper. Hey, Lynn, I had a great week and I spent it with my brother's kids. I guess because I'm doing that, I should probably go ahead and add texture to the legs too. Might as well, right? While we're at it. Don't stop now. I guess we're gonna cover this whole thing with a coat of tissue paper. I was only thinking about doing the front, but I guess now we'll just go with it. Michaels can be very expensive. That's why I like to go when everything's like on sale because they have good sales. And I always, you can go on their app. You can always get um, a coupon. They always have coupons, which if, you know, Take advantage of those coupons for sure. I think the coupon I had, you can go on their app, like the shopping app on your phone, and I think it's 20%. So every little bit helps. All right. So I am going to do this whole thing. Hey, Lynn. This is going to be cute. Trust me. I know it looks a little wonky right now, and you guys are probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? Trust me, I have a vision, and I think it'll be really cute. I don't think I've let you down yet, right? It's kind of like mod podging. It's kind of like decoupaging. You're just decoupaging your surface just to give it a texture. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. Just get it on there. And then don't forget, remind me to show you guys, I got some new decoupage clean papers. Oh my word, wait till you see them. See that one wants to give me an ache. There we go. Just like I said, you be the boss of the tissue paper. You tell it where you want it to go and eventually it will go where you put it. And then just dry it. I got one more leg to do. Kimberly, you made the skeleton mirror. Wasn't it like amazing? It's one of my favorite, favorite projects. I can't wait to uh, bring out all my Halloween decor. I am not bringing it out yet. It's still a little early for me, but I think come like the middle of September, I will probably bring that out because I'm going to be gone for the last part in October for our sparkle event. So I want to have it out before. I don't want to this was $19.99 and I got it on sale. I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to go like right around to the bottom, but I'm not going to do the whole thing. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I could just lay a piece down there. Might as well do the whole thing. Can you tell me why my bare clear wax is really hard and my dark wax is running my heavy lid on? I don't know. My my clear wax, my bare wax is not, it's not uh, hard. I mean, it's solid. It's not going to be like, it's kind of got the texture a little bit thicker than like Vaseline is what your bare wax should be. We're actually going to use some today, so um, I'll show you what mine looks like when I open it up. When I... And I just have mine up here in my craft room. Um, and it gets warm up here, as you guys all have heard me complaining before. So, and it just kind of stays. I've never really had, I've never had it runny. You wait until after Labor Day. Yeah, that's what I, well, yeah. I think right around the end of, the end of August, the beginning of September, I'll decorate, start decorating. Okay. So I've got that done to my liking. Try to hang this up. Hey, Diane, what's going on? All right. So I am going to dry this. Uh, Phyllis, this is just uh, wrinkled up tissue paper. Let's see, 
a spot that's not down there. Just wrinkled up tissue paper with some Mod Podge. Melinda, my husband raced uh, this year, this weekend at uh, Summit Motorsports in Norwalk, Ohio. Hi, Lorene. I'm just getting started, Lorene. So see how we have this all down? It's going to look really, really goofy. If you see any parts that are loose or lifting, just throw some Mod Podge on there. And then it's going to get weirder looking before it comes together. I promise. So I'm just drawing everything, making sure it's good that we can paint it. Hey Lynn, welcome from South Carolina. This is like ceramic, Molly. It's kind of like, um, it's not metal, it's like black. I would say some kind of ceramic. And I'm just making sure all that I don't want any of it lifting. Yeah, hey Lucy, I know you didn't miss much. Fall and let you try to extend your birthday out to Labor Day. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I have some Halloween stuff out right now that I've made over the last few weeks. It's just sitting out in my house, but I kind of like it because our house is all those like burnt orange colors and brown, so it, it kind of like works. Oh, is somebody asking about my bracelets? Thank you. Uh, you could probably use a, p a plastic uh, cauldron for sure. Yes, I don't see why you couldn't. Okay, so I think that's good. So now, I'm actually going to try to, of course I haven't washed my brushes in any time soon, so I'm going to try to, I guess I could use that one. I can never, ever, ever have enough clean brushes in my in my in my uh, studio ever never can I have enough brushes clean ones never works never it does look like it's wrapped in spider webs that's funny I'm gonna try to wash my brushes today after I get off this live because I need to make it work oh there's Brittany um the mold I used the other day uh Barbara I I'm pretty sure that's on my link tree in my Amazon store. Go to my Amazon store. I, I do have, I'm almost positive I have that linked. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I have that on my Amazon store that I used for that craft the other day. Yes, I put a coat of Mod Podge, then you lay your tissue paper down, and then another coat of Mod Podge, yes. All right, hold on, I'm trying to get the glue. I got glue all over my fingers. Yes, you can put rice paper in the printer. I have that linked on my Amazon store, also the stuff that I use, and I always put it in my, um, I have an inkjet printer, and uh, I put it in there all the time when you wanna make your own prints. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you, Suzette, for the stars. You're awesome. Okay, so now that we have it painted, not painted, it's all like, you know, let me get some heat down here. Now I want to add on those, uh, some funky letters on the front. So I'm going to show you how I do mine. Um, so these are just foam letters. You can get these at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart. Just, uh, just, just plain, and don't worry about the color because, um, I do have an Amazon store, Delia, it's in my link tree. Um, oh, you're welcome, Brenda. I'm actually gonna use the same color here today, so stay tuned to get the color for those lace switch covers. Okay, so these are just, you know, they're just foam sticky sticker letters, okay? Um, and what I want to do is I want to write across the front. I want to write potions across the front, okay? So I'm just going to find my letters, what I need, and just stick them on there. And I'm not, these are pretty sticky, so I'm not even going to attempt to do, um, to like use any glue, but I'm going to put them on here gently at first because I want to make sure that I have them spaced right. Thank you, Janet. So I'm just gonna use the word potions. 
And you get like 90 pieces to these. Does the rice paper take a long time? Not, not the ones that, no, I've never had an issue with it. Um, hey, we got a stars party going on. So see, I'm just kind of placing them on there just to make sure that I get them where I want and that they look right and then I can move them around if I don't. But these are super fun. I always have a boatload of these. Um, so see how I just have that kind of like right across there. I'm just going to, you know, I just have them sitting up there. I'm just now I'm going to like really press them on there. I'm going to press them down. And again, if they're not perfect, it doesn't matter because it's a spooky Halloween type thing. So, you know, it could be a little off centered or grungy looking. Don't forget it's, you know, it's supposed to not look perfect. So I just have those all pressed on. I know it looks backwards too, but it does say potions. And so now we're going to give it its makeover. I'm going to grab, now this is how I make that, um, somebody was just asking that color combination for the light switch covers. This is like what I always, my go-to, what I always use. Um, and it's the, you start off with some black, just flat black. Okay. No, I didn't, I didn't throw some away. I just, I have another uh, container over here that I throw stuff in. It always looks like I'm throwing stuff away, but I'm not. Hey, Wanda. All right. So I'm almost out of this paint. So I just start off with some black. Okay. Plain black paint. I always make too much. So don't, you know, freak out that I'm, it's just how I am. That's garbage. Okay. Um, uh, my favorite air dry clay, Sheila, is Jovi from TH Decor ATL. You can find that in my link tree too. So just start out with some black. Okay. Now I'm going to, oh my gosh, y'all doing it again, making a mess before I can get started. Okay. Get rid of that. People wonder why I have so much trash coming out of this room every week. It's crazy. Okay. So you have black and then I'm going to take some, let's see, I'm going to take some of my paint, pixie paint. This is the color 24 karat. It's like a gold metallic. And then I'm also going to mix it with some, I haven't even opened this one yet. You could make it a cute candy dish. That's another good idea. We're actually going to make it a two part, two part little display vignette, whatever you want to call it. So this is paint, pixie paint. It's metallic. This is 24 karat. So see, it's kind of like a gold. And then I'm going to take this one. This is, no, I want the metallic. It's sterling. I thought I had another one. It's rose gold. New penny. Here we go. So this is paint, pixie, metallic paint, new penny. So this is like your copper. Okay. And I just, yes, guys, I make too much. Sorry. And you get a little squirt bottle and then you just mix it together and it'll give you like this gorgeous um, oil rubbed bronze color. Okay. And then you can add more. If it's too dark, then you add more copper. If you want it more orange or whatever, you just play around until you get it how you like it. So I'm going to add a little bit more new penny. I kind of like it with that orangey look to it. Liz, you're not on replay, sugar. You're live. Okay, so, so I'm just mixing this around until I get it to the color I like it. So see how pretty that is? It's kind of just got this metallic, beautiful metallic sheen to it, like an oil rubbed bronze. I know it's hard to see on camera, but it's really, really pretty. You guys can see that. It's really pretty. Um... So now I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this whole thing. I'm not going to do the inside. I'm just going to do the outside. So I'm just going to start painting right over all of that crinkly tissue paper and cover and then just paint it. And then I'll show you how to bring out that texture of that tissue paper when we get it all on here. And I'm going to paint right over those foam letters also. 
and I know it's hard, maybe hard to see on camera, but you can see, do you see all the texture in there? So see, it's not smooth anymore. If you don't like that texture, you don't have to do that. I don't, I just, I like the texture, kind of looks, you know, old and dingy, but I am going to go and paint over all the letters, making sure I get in all those nooks and crannies of the letter, I'm gonna cover right up over that gold glitter letter lettering. And same thing for the handles, just give it a coat of paint. And usually this paint, I'm probably only gonna need one coat. And underneath the handles, you just wanna make sure, and because you have so much texture going on here, make sure you look at it in all all the ways and see I'm just going right up to that rim right there I'm not gonna go all the way inside because there's no need to it looks so good I love this paint finish I'm gonna do the rim last so I can use that to hold it and flip it around if I need it now this is gonna be really really cute And then that last one, I'll go, when I get all of this body of it done, then I'll go ahead and do that rim around the outside, around the top. So did you guys all have like a great weekend? Would you guys do anything fun or exciting? Are you having nice weather where you're at? Where are you guys all from? Where are you all at? I know some of you. Anybody going on vacation anytime soon? I want to take a vacation with my husband. We've never even been on a honeymoon, so I kind of want to go somewhere towards the end of the year, but I don't know. We're going to Oklahoma for the, our, our retreat, our s s crafting retreat, but. All right, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to actually pick it up, move it right here and just kind of go around just that outer edge. If I get a little bit on the inside, it's not a big deal because we're gonna have that witch hat sitting on top. Riverside, California. I, I graduated from a school named Riverside. How cool. I've never been to California. Farthest west I've been would be Arizona and well, actually Las Vegas. So look in all the little nooks and crannies. You want to make sure you don't see any of that white tissue paper or behind those letters. But if you guys can somewhat see that, see the letters right there. It's hard to see right now, but you'll see it. You'll see it. The magic will happen. So I'm going to dry this first. Schenectady, New York. Oh, Kathy, how fun. Jamaica, oh, I'm so jealous. Connecticut. It's hot and muggy here too. North Carolina. And we have New York. Lots of New Yorkers. Never been to New York. I've been to New York. Uh, my brother's wedding. He got married up there, but not New York City. That's on that my bucket list. New York City. All right. So I've got some puddly paint. You don't want to have any puddly paint. Or just try to make it. California. Brandy, the metallics that I used were from Paint Pixie. You can find that in my link tree also. Those are the metallics. And it dries super fast. I'm just going to make sure everything's dried. So, see, so you could just make something that looks old and and junky by that tissue paper gives it such a nice um, gives it such a nice texture. All right, I think that is good. All right, so now we have that. Just gonna make sure. Who's calling me? Oh, that's my friend Amy, but I am on a live, Amy or Millie. Apparently she does not know that. 
So see how cute that looks with that word potions? I know it looks backwards, but now is when it gets fun. Okay, so now you want to make it look, you know, you want to bring out that lettering. So I'm just going to use my same brush. I'm going to grab another paper plate and I'm just going to take some, I think of this gold. This is Paint Pixie 24 karat gold, okay? I'm just going to put a little bit on my plate. And then I'm going to take like a, like a fluffy brush, not a, whatever. You can use a chip brush. You can use just any kind of brush. You're just going to dry brush over it. Um, and I'm just going to pick some up on my plate and then grab a paper towel, another paper towel. And you're just going to dry brush some of it off like so, because you don't want a lot. I'm just skimming the surface of this or, or whatever you call it, a cauldron, okay? I don't want to pick it up. And I'm just going to kind of like dry brush. doesn't matter direction, what direction. Just get some of that on there and just dry brush over all those crackles. We might actually end up painting the handles all gold. I'm not sure. Let's see, watch. When you go over the letters it'll stick and it just kind of like brings out all that crackle and you could put it on as heavy or as light or as thick as you want you know don't forget it's a Halloween cauldron so it doesn't have to be spot on perfect you can have it look junky or as old as you want and I love the metallic paints I'm missing comments. Sorry, guys. I wish I could see comments, and but I do go back and read them. All right, so just trying to hit some of it just to give it an all-over even look because, you know, but see how well that just adding that little bit of the gold metallic kind of just brings out all those little crackles even more. It just kind of sticks to them. And you can see that potions even more now, but it's still not, you know, bright enough for me. So I'm going to take some, if I can find it, some antique gold rub and buff. One of my favorite things on the planet. And I'm just going to use my finger and I'm just going to go over the letters so they stand out even more. See how much they stand out? You know, it's just a little bit right there in the center. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I know I'm jumping around here, but I just happened to think of it. If you guys are looking for a movie to watch, I got some good ones. Um, Dark Waters, okay? It says potions. I know it's backwards, but it says potions. Go watch Dark Waters with Mark Ruffalo. So good. And we just started watching a new show the other day, Michael and I, and it's called um, The Old Man. So good. So good, so good, so good. All right, so see how it says potions? Look at how cute, guys, right? Oh, my gosh, I love this. So now I want to do the, the flowers, okay? That was actually just enough paint. So I might go ahead and back and, and do more to this, but I don't know. But look at how cute. So we just, you know, kind of made that a little bit special. And you could put something on the back too. I did not. I probably, I just put it on the front or whatever. I don't think it really has a front or a back. Uh, Betty, my birthday is the ninth. So now we have this cute little hat. And all I wanted to do was just stick this hat on top like this, I thought it would be cute pairing them up together. Maybe, oh my gosh, look at how cute that's gonna be. But that's too plain. So, the James Franco movie we watched. Oh gosh, what was that? That was a good movie. It was crazy. Um, it was about, oh gosh, I don't remember. You know, I've been seeing that, Sherry, uh, that movie about the I Killed My Dad, and I have not watched it yet, so it's good, right? Yeah, The Old Man is what we're watching right now. My husband's, like, all into it. 
um, and we're all we're both looking forward to you know Yellowstone coming back out. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Now I'm going to take this, um, and all I want to do is give it some florals. So I think when it sits up here, I don't flip my camera, Phyllis. That's why it looks backwards to you. Um, but it says potions. It is right, right. It is right side up. I promise. So I just want to put that right there. I might add some bling around here. Um, but I want to kind of, maybe I should, I don't want to glue this on here only because, um, I might put a candle in here, not like a real candle, but like one of those flickering flameless candles just to make it emanate some light at night. I think it would be really cute. Um, so I got these flower picks. Oops, I just lost one. Gosh, I don't want them to get in my paint. I'm getting paint everywhere. Karen, I have not. I will be coming on. It'll be after I'm done here. I did open up some Happy Mail last Thursday, and I'm going to post a video on that later. Because um, I've been forgetting to do it. But I do have one box up here from Karen um, that I will open. So now that we have that, what I want to do is just simple, you know, keep it simple, guys. I just got these floral picks. I've got a ton of these. I pulled out a bunch of my fall flowers. Um, I don't know if these came from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't know which one, but they all have them. Um, like the floral picks, Hobby Lobby's got a boatload of them right now. Um, and I was thinking, how cute are those? But maybe. You know, and look at how cute that's going to be. So we're just going to decorate the hat, right? I'm so excited. Which hat is from Michaels? A flameless candle. That's what I'm thinking too. So I just kind of like want to put this here. I got some flat, uh, when I was doing my pirate hat last week, um, I grabbed a whole bunch of these flowers. These come from Michaels. It needs a hat band. I was thinking about that too, believe it or not. And I was thinking like a blingy one. Do you guys, yeah, it probably does. So let me see if I have any. But I got some feather picks, and then I'm gonna show you another cute thing I got that I pulled out. Should we do some totally dazzle? I don't know that if I have a long enough one. Oh yes, I do. Is this a long enough one? Even if it just goes around the back. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is just totally dazzled. Uh, totally dazzled appliques. I think what I'm going to do is just glue it all around like that. Now that's silver, which you know me, I don't, I don't have a problem mixing my metals, but let's just look at a gold one just to be, um, safe. Sons of Anarchy was a fabulous show. Absolutely love Sons of Anarchy. I'm running a low on a lot of my long bling. I don't know if I have any long gold ones. Let's see down here. That's rose gold. I've been using my appliques for so much stuff. I don't know that I would like the gold anyway on here. Let me see. But I don't have a gold one that is long enough, I don't think. So we'll just go ahead and do the mixed metals and we'll do in in the uh, we'll do it um, with the silver. I don't care. Okay, so this totally dazzled, it comes with um, it comes with like a self-adhesive stick. But being that we're going to put this towards the back, I'm going to start it on the back. I am going to use a boatload of hot glue just because this is not a flat surface and I don't want it getting all janky. I want it to stick on there. So I'm going to back it up. Um, I'm going to back it up with uh, some hot glue. 
You could use the bling wrap if you wanted. Um, I love bling wrap, but you know, I love the appliques more because they're so sparkly. Which legs? I almost, I almost, uh, yeah, I don't have those. I almost grabbed those the last time I was at Michael's and I didn't. It's funny you said that. See, great minds think alike. So all I'm doing is putting a bead of hot glue on top of that, on top of the, uh, just here and there for support. And then we can, we can make it work. Any little extra bit, and then, you know, you're just pressing it on there. I thought I heard a car horn. So I'm just pressing that in there. I did hear a car horn. Who is here? Oh, Big Daddy's in the house. I didn't know he was coming home. All right, so... Just keep stringing it around. You might make an appearance, y'all, in the studio. Okay. Now, I can overlap it, and I think I just might, because... Will you do more just fall crafts? Helen is not my game. Deb, I do all kinds of things. Fall, Halloween, anything with that orange and whatever. I love all kinds of fall decorating, Halloween. I kind of combine the two, but yes, you, I, I do a whole lot of stuff here, not just Halloween. Okay. I actually got some really cute, uh, I'll show you the decoupage queen papers I got. Really cute stuff. I try to like mix them a little bit. Uh, Lisa, no, you're not wearing yours early. Are you kidding me? I'm all about it. Bring it. I don't do spook. I like spooky crafts. I don't do gory Halloween. I don't do gory Halloween. That is like where I draw the line. I don't do the gory. So see how we have that? Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. See, this is not spooky. It's not gory. It's not, you know, creepy. It's just cute. All right, so I've got all that pressed in there. If you feel like it needs more glue, I think it's going to be just fine. I've got this thing on there with glue and with, um, actually that glue is probably no, it's not. I thought maybe for sure it would be coming through, but it's not. All right, so we have that. Now I want to start decorating it with some florals. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to cut this, like, end of this pick off. The new dake pot. Wait till you see what I got, guys. They're so stinking pretty. They're just so fun. All right, I'm going to try to make this as short as I can. And make sure that your price tag is cut off. Exactly, Carla. Yes, and you know what? That's why I was like, I pulled out this shirt and I was like, oh yes, my new touchstone. This is the new ice bracelet that I have on. Um, this one. Look at all those colors. It's got like the greens, the golds, and the ambers. So pretty. I love, love, love the ice bracelets. Okay. All right, so I just have this little pick. I think we're going to put some yarn for their hair. Um, the letters need to be simple. Nope, I like my mixed metals. I definitely don't. I'm weird like that. Um, I don't mind mixed metals. I don't like, I mean, I like silver, but this is definitely more my jam. So I think I want to just put this off to the side. Let me see here, because I do have some feathers that I want to incorporate. So I want to be able to po poke a feather. Maybe I'll do the feather this side. I don't know. Let me see here. Let me make sure that I get that. Do I go that way? I'm thinking maybe that way. Yeah, being that the, the cone is going this way, um, I'll put all this stuff off to the side this way. So all I'm going to do is try to make this as flat as I can. And this is where you're going to need a boatload 
And when I say a boatload, I mean a boatload, a boatload of glue. And I'm just sticking it right in the center, dripping glue. Don't worry. Ouch, 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 that's hot. I wish they would make like a non-drippy hot glue, right? Hey, Carmen. Okay, so I've got that on there, and this is why I'm glad I didn't, you know, like really secure that to the cauldron because I could play around with this. Make sure and until that glue dries, you want to just kind of like... Get it to stick wherever you think it's going to need to stick at. Just trying to see. And then we'll probably have to pick it up. Uh, Lene, what was it called? The bling wrap you got from Hobby Land that you bought so many of that was on trim. It's trim, just decorative trim. Decorative trim. So, see, I've got that glued right there. I think it's good for the most part. But now I'm going to try to see where I can also throw some glue on, that's on there, where I can put some glue back here where it will also stay, just for extra adhesion. Hey Gail. The rumor was true that Johnny said last night on the award show he was available to work bar mitzvahs, weddings, movies, and sparkle Halloween parties. Ha! Ah, that's awesome, Vinny. I would be thrilled. I know some of my chicks are already like, I've messaged Johnny Depp, tell him to come to the sparkle event. Would that not be the most epic thing ever? All right, so I'm just checking the back, making sure that I don't, I'm just kind of adding glue where I kind of feel like it's, touching back there and then I'm just kind of pressing it letting it dry yeah you can even squirt some from the inside which you can I can see it for sure but I think this is working just fine like this is already dry down here once that's on there it's not coming out look at how stinking cute this is right all right so that should be good we got our little cauldron now I have that off to the side and I do want to take this feather because I'm all about feathers lately. I don't know why, but I like fluffy feathers. So all I want to do is get some glue on here and then just kind of ugh, stick that down in here just for some oomph. Yep. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Come on, people, tell me that's not adorable. Wait, y'all, I got more coming. Hold on, y'all are starting to think like me. Y'all are starting to think just like, like me. I see you throwing out options. Pumpkins, I gotcha. So I did have these. Now, I've got little orange ones I could add on here, or, okay, I've got, oh my gosh, look at that. Aren't these adorable? Karen, I get that all the time. Yes, I get that all the time. I think I'd be a millionaire if, if how many times people tell me I look like Jennifer Aniston. Okay, so these are from Michaels. They came in little picks, but I don't know if I want to use the black and white, right? But how cute would that be right there? Because we did do this in gold, but I was thinking just to see what it looked like, grab some dark wax and wax these puppies up and see what they look like if we were to wax those pumpkins to make them not so bright white. Okay. Because I think they're adorable, right? So I'm just gonna grab some and all I'm gonna do and we'll see what they look like. I'm trying not to go over the glitter. I don't want the glitter to lose their sparkle. But it's 
might be kind of cute. Or I can do the orange ones. Or I can mix the orange ones with these cute little things. So you got your wax on there. Then you're just going to need another paper towel. And just kind of like, eh, see, it doesn't really, you can just kind of, it just tones it down a tad. Just kind of grunges them up a bit compared to the white. See, it just toned it down a little bit. I kind of like the black and white, but I do like it better with the toned down. So let me do this. And we'll see. And I'm just going to stick that right next to that sunflower. And hopefully that will hold. Let's see. Gonna press it on there. It's cute, right? Brings in a little. Now I can put another one over off to the side. Do another one. I might even have to touch up that paint just a little bit. Wax works as an eraser on something, so that I just have to get that to dry. And then maybe the other one over here, behind here, if you can, can't really see it though. Or maybe just two over here. Or just do the one. Yeah, Sherry, my poison ivy is gone. I kind of like just like the one, but wait, I think I have. See, so we could put, I don't know if I, I kind of like the white, but I do have, I thought I had one. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, oh I had another feather that has some white in it. Maybe we could put that in there too on the opposite side. Um over here and make it double fluffy because you know I'm all about that that will bring out oh my gosh I love this oops what the hey now that wasn't supposed to happen oh I'm losing the, my I'm losing it <laughs> hold on it like wants to stay but it doesn't want to stay well again like I say peeps win the war against your your crafts because you're the boss Oh my God, their glue strings are ridiculous. All right, I'm not sure why that fell off, but it did. Okay, so I'm gonna try to, between the feather and the sunflower. I don't know if another one would look right there. They're almost, they're a little bit too big. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Mm -mm. I think we're just going to go with the one off to the side. I think that's cute. As long as it stays where it's told to stay. Maybe I'm going to do that there. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, I like it. I'm going to add this other white flower up there because I think, I don't know what the heck that is, some kind of junk on my feather. I kind of like the way that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and do it because, you know, I'm one of those people, more is more, more is more, more, all about it. And I think that white then just kind of sets off. Yeah, it kind of just brings out that, so it's kind of balanced. You know what I'm saying there? Okay. Got some hot glue dripped onto my letter down here. I can fix that, though. Okay. This is so stinking adorable. And see, I don't want, but even on its own, I mean, you could even leave it on its own like that. Trying to find the center. 
You know what I should do too? I have a spider somewhere. A bling, oh, Donna, Dana, you're in my mind. A little bling spider dangling. Um, but look at how cute that is. Now, I kind of almost feel like we need some bling around here. Um, well, let me see. This. I pulled out a bunch of stuff. Now, we could put this around that to go around that. Mm, no. What do you guys think? I could put, that's kind of cute, instead of bling, or do you guys think bling around there? I'm going to put some bling on this sunflower. It's going to get a big piece of totally dazzled. That kind of just ties it all in. I kind of like that. Or I have some like bling bling, like this type of bling, like a rope bling. But you could do that too. I kind of like the fuller fluffy stuff. So can you believe I said that? So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put some of this on there. This is just like a garland. So I think what I'm going to do is here's the fun part. Lots of glue. Sometimes glue can be our friend. Sometimes it can't. All right, I'm going to take that off for a second. And then I am going to just get some of this and just kind of twist that around. And I'm going to cut it like right here. And this stuff is like so cheap, but you can use it for so many good things. And you know what? Maybe if I could. Oh, this is paper. Oh, my scissors are, st my scissors are stuck to my desk. Yeah, I'm going to see if I have a blingy spider. What I mean, I know I have a blingy spider, but I want to see if I can somehow get it. I wonder if I could just tie this back here. Because this is like on metal. If I could just tie this. Or somehow twist it around itself. Then I could save my fingers from losing, you know, my fingerprints with the glue. And then just give it like a little... A little wrap. Let's see. Just take that and then wrap it under. That way you don't have to spend your time. See how perfect was that? Now I don't have to worry about um, glue. See, that's cute. It's just like a little candle. It's like a little thing. It's just cute. Yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of like. Is falling down from there. All right, so gosh, this is so adorable. Look how cute that is. So it does need some bling over here. I'm thinking like a little, how do I dangle a spider? Oh, you know what would be cute is to use this and dangle the spider. Yes, oh my God, Renee, use that bling for your spider to hang from. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, we're so funny. Okay, where is my spider then? Now, hold on. Oh, Here's one. I have this one. I think just a small one would be adorable. Or I do have a bigger one. Or I have a bigger one. Let's see, these are brooches from Hobby Lobby. Little spider brooches. I'm just going to cut that brooch part off. Do you guys think the bigger spider? Oh, definitely the bigger spider. Okay, the, definitely the bigger spider. So all I'm gonna do, uh, Lori, it's not upside down. I just, I don't have, I don't flip my camera. So our little pumpkin is staying on there. Now we got our little bling spider on the hat. So all I'm gonna do is take some of this bling trim. Make sure that it's not coming out. And I'm gonna glue it to the back of the spider. You make sure you want to put your crystal side down because you want the crystal to be facing. And Lord, I'm going to sit here until this dries because I do not want to, you know, 
hurt myself. Um, so guys, I know we talked about this last time too. I finally finished my book yesterday that I was reading, uh, where the crawdads sing. Oh my word. If you haven't seen it, you need, if you haven't read the book, go read, go read the book. Seriously, how adorable is that? I couldn't have done that. I couldn't have thought of that better myself. This is really cute. Okay, so that's dry. And then I just got to figure out how, how am I going to, oh my gosh, is that not so cute? Kathy, you should teach us craft classes. What do you think I'm doing here on these lives? <laughs> I think these are, these are craft classes. I don't know what else you would call it. So all I'm going to do is glue it. I think, let me see, let me get it back here. I think like right there would be good. Yes, so I'm going to cut it right there. And I am going to glue it, okay, to the outside of this thing. And then I think what I'm going to do is maybe get like a really small um, like one of these little tiny gems like right here let me see what it looks like first and then that will kind of cover up I don't know if I could get it underneath it's got to go to the outside then I can put this right over that I'm gonna have my glasses so I'm gonna take this off I don't want it dripping piece of wire would work but all I'm going to do is guys I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to attach it right there okay just oh crap well that's all right I kind of just lost one where's my, I'm just using the brush handle my little thing. I don't know where my little Yeah, this is working just fine. Okay. Better if I could see. Did I bring my I thought I had an extra pair of glasses up here. I guess I don't all right, so all I'm doing is pressing that on there with some glue. Work like a champ. Oh my word, look at how cute. Then I'm gonna take this little bauble here. Heidi, that is my costume hat for the Sparkle event. I did a live on it last week, you gotta go check it out. So to cover up that little nub right there where I glued it, um, I'm just gonna put it you know, just finish that off with a little bit of hot glue, just like a little point, just for a little added decoration. Crap, I don't want that. Don't you dare do that. Give me this. See what I mean? Okay. I'm just going to kind of mold that, push that where I want it, right there. See what I'm saying? Look how cute that is. <gasps> so cute. Okay, so now I think we're just about done. So I have that on there. I'm just going to make sure I, and you can take your hat off because I think what I want to do is you know, be able to put a candle in here, and I think a candle will be able to flare out, but I feel like it needs one more little thing over here. I don't know if it's going to be a leaf. Yes, one little leaf. I just ripped it off of a pick, and then I'll show you what else I grabbed, and you guys can tell me if you think I should use it or not. I thought it was cute. I wasn't sure how it was all going to come together, but I grabbed these little... These are also from Michael's 
they're little like broomsticks and I thought but see it's I've got it so much fuller than what I anticipated having it but I thought it would be cute to have this little thing off to the side you know and it says hocus pocus should I put it down like it's resting up like it's resting up against the handle I'm kind of digging it I mean, you could do whatever you want, but I kind of like it. I'm just going to kind of push it. I'm going to tuck it right down here like it's kind of resting against the handle. Like so. And I am going to cut the strings off because it's like an ornament. Oh my God, that's awesome, Heidi. Yeah, my husband's dressed up as Captain Jack Sparrow. Can you believe it? He's like, what have you done to me? Race car driver turned crafter's wife. Okay, so I've got a few other ideas here. I'm going to put a little bit. I'm out of glue. Of course I am. I'm going to hold that. Get another glue. Okay. So I'm going to put some glue right here to hold that sign on. I love it because it's different too. <laughs> Tammy, now you need to go run, run. Okay, so I'm just holding that on until that's glued. I did add one more leaf over here just to fill out around that black and white pumpkin. And... Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. So it's like an ornament, so I want to cut off the top, uh, you know, thing right there. And I want that to stick to the hat. Well, no, I don't want that to stick to the hat. That was stupid, Kathleen. Okay, I want to keep that separate. I stuck it to the hat. I actually don't want to do that. Okay. You want it stuck to your cauldron because that's where, that's where I want to be able to remove the hat. It's super cute. I'm just trying to get it to dry. Okay, almost done, y'all. I'm going to actually put bling here, this little bow on this, oh my god, this is so cute, right? Look at how adorable. Um, I'll post pics later on today when I take this downstairs. I'm going to add a little piece of bling. Actually, you know what we can do is we can take that little small spider, and I now you kind of lose it. I'm just going to put a little bling. I might actually do a bow, a blow bit of bow bling. silver or I can do you know don't be afraid to mix your metals guys I say this all the time I mix my metals but I don't I don't care um, so I could put I'm gonna put this little bow down here I'll show you guys in a second um, on top of the bow that's already on the little broomstick and give it a little totally dazzled bow just for some bling. Oh, I have I have glue strings everywhere. Okay, and then I want to put a big gem in the center of that. Um, and I don't know what kind. a nice round one to go with the shape of the, the shape of everything else and yes guys I'm mixing my metals I don't care I know I have bronze on here but that's the fun of it you do you right let's see if I can find a nice round one let's be looking the small spider on the sunflower 
I could. That's cute. I could definitely do that. I still want to add a gem to the center, though. I'll put this one. I'll put the other spider off to the side. I want to get some type of blingy bling in the center. Now, see, that's too big. I don't want to go that big. There's one. See, that's a flower. I don't want that to be there. I just want a small little round bauble in the center there. I don't want one. Here's one. That's perfect. Good enough. Okay, so I'm just going to use a ton of hot glue. I'm just going to... Hopefully that will stick in the center there. I'm gonna hold it down at the stick. Black gems, I'm gonna put this, uh, okay, I think that worked. I just wanna make sure that's dry. So see how we just added that little piece right there in the center? I didn't want to cover up all that brown because it's kind of sparkly too. And then I think I am going to take that. That's a cute idea. I like that little black spider. Let's see if Mike is still here. He is. Are you watching me, honey? He might be watching. It's Halloween glam. It's royal funky junk glam. Now this spider does have like these little hooks up there. So I am going to clip off those because that's weird. Oh, he's probably putting our pull pump in. Our pull pump decided to stop working, so he's probably out back putting the new pump in. Okay, so we got this little blingy spider here. I did not get a new glue gun, same one. Um, and I'm gonna put that right on, yeah, I like that right here, okay. How much fun was this, y'all? This is why I love like everything fall and Halloween because it's just so much fun. And I don't do gore, you know, I like the cute stuff. I even thought about that, Kathy, putting it on a candlestick. Yes, you could put this on a candlestick. You could keep the urn, you know, the cauldron separate. You could make, um, a, put this on a candlestick. This actually doesn't have to go on anything. It could sit on your table just like that. I mean, how cute is that? So you can get multi, uh, multiple uses. You know, I, this is just, this is just my jam. This is just, you know, my mojo. But seriously, this has got to be, I'm trying to find the center. Oh my God, it doesn't even matter. Look at how fabulous this turned out, y'all. Is that not stinking adorable or what? I mean, I, I love everything about it. And I think once you get a candle in there, I think it'll be really cute. See, so this this just is my my mojo. I love how full it is and how busy. Yeah, so that's kind of like, you know, it's yes, it's Halloween, it's not fall, but come on. This is flipping adorable. And see, I added that little bow right in here. See the little bow on the thing? Love this. See, this is why I have a hard time selling all my fall crafts. I do, I struggle because it's just so stinking adorable. Okay, so let me clean up. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff on my desk and I am going to open up the box of Happy Mail. I do have a pre-recorded Happy Mail from last week that I will post probably tomorrow. Yeah, you can put candy in the cauldron and then keep this uh, as something completely separate. So here, I'll show them to you separate. How cute is just the cauldron itself? <laughs> adorable, put it on your front porch, right? I love it. I love, or you can leave it all together. I'm going to see what it looks like with the candle in it at nighttime. And uh, I think this is really, really, really cute. Okay. So, or how cute would it have been to check, black and white check the bottom of the cauldron, right? That would have been really cute too. But I love it. So I will take a picture of that today and I will um, uh, post it. I am going to open up my box of Happy Mail. I will... Um, I will um, post the other Happy Mail that I opened up last week. I'll post that tomorrow. 
I know I need to make two of everything, Dawn. The problem is, though, is I get bored. And then for me to, like, have to sit there and make that again, I'd be like, no, because my brain, how I'm made, you know, my brain is already on to the next thing, you know. All right, so I'm going to open up this big box from... Karen. Oh my gosh, Karen, it's so heavy. Karen Callahan sent me this big box. Huh, you want my piggy on the canvas? Oh, isn't she fabulous? I made that when I first started Royal Funky Junk. When I, I, I didn't even have enough nerve to go on a live when I made that. Um, yeah. So Karen Callahan sent me, I don't even know what's in this behemoth of a box. Card. Thank you, Kelly. And sit the hat on. You cool. We could do that, Joy. It's a story, right? I know. It's like I kind of go with it. It's just the kind of creator I am. I don't. I can't do multiples of things. Aw, thank you. I love I love it. Thank you. Okay, so Okay. From Karen Callahan. Are you still on here? I know this package is huge. Oh my gosh, I might need to put this on the floor, y'all. Hold on. There's a multitude of things in here. This is like Christmas. I feel things in here. Okay. Oh, look at how adorable. Oh, wood curled roses. Aren't these pretty? And look at this cute little thing. It's like a little bumblebee bench, like a fairy garden bench. These. Like, I picture a spring fairy house with this. Really cute. Oh my gosh, look at all this adorable stuff. Okay. Yes, I was right. Little fairy, fairy things, fairy garden things. So this is going to go in my bucket of fairy gardens. Little ice cream fairy gardens. Look how adorable that is. I love this. I want a house that looks like this for my she shed. That's what I want it to look like. <laughs> I do. Okay. Um, what else we got? We got a whole box of goodies. Oh, I got a beautiful picture frame. Look at all the texture on that. Isn't that lovely? I can see us blinging that out for sure. stuff here y'all I know oh look at this bling trim it's like a turquoise blue bling trim love that little terracotta pots I see a fairy garden in the future little tiny pine cones for fall and pumpkins those are adorable more fairy stuff oh my gosh look at that little gnome oh look at that little gnome too cute I love fairy gardens too. What is this? Little tiny clothes pins. You know what's funny? I was just searching for these the other day. Um, oh, guys, check it out. Unicorn. More fairy homes. Oh my gosh, so cute. I want a fairy house like this too. I want to live in a fairy garden. A little wishing well with a bucket. Oh, I love that little mushroom door. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff in this bag. Bee leaf, a little rock. I like hiding these like when I go on walks with the, with the kids. You could just do it when I was, my kids were little. So all kinds of little tiny fairy things, little trees, um, like little doodads. This is going to be one heck of a cute fairy garden. Look at all this stuff. 
little people, little cobblestone walkway. Little plants and a little windmill. So cute, your craft room is, a, I wish it was, are you kidding, it's a mess. There's more stuff in here, my goodness, no wonder she needed a box so big. Karen, you're too kind sending me all this stuff. What's in here? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say, bling, sounds like bling. O M G. Y'all, I need my glasses for this one. Do you want to see what's in here? Holy crap balls. Look at all these rings. My favorite. I'm a ring hoarder. My husband's going to about go. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Look at that. That's my new thumb ring. OMG, look at these beautiful rings. Girlfriend, look at, guys, I can just load them up. Karen, thank you, this is wonderful. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. This is a whole, ooh, look at that one. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to make a new ring holder. Ooh, look at that one, y'all. Oh, these are so, I guys, I can't even pull them all to show you because they're so, look at all of this probably, um, oh my gosh, there's so many, and my, I can't see worth diddly squat, look at how pretty, I'm trying to get on as many, look at that beautiful purple one, a stash indeed, look at how amazing, I'm trying to get them on, oh, I love that one, look at that one. Oh, I like that one too. Mike is going to like that one. Mike's going to snag that one for me for sure. Ooh, look at this one. Look at how pretty that one is. The rainbow colored one. Ooh, look at this one. This is a heart. Look at how pretty that is. Uh, Sharon, on my link tree, go to TH Decor ATL and it's in there. It's, it's the only clay they have inside TH Decor ATL. Karen, this is fabulous. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to dig through with my glasses on. She's so kind. I'm telling you guys, you guys humble me with your generosity because I'm going to keep that one on. It's as, that's amazing. All right, we got more. I don't know what's in here. Hold on. If I remember correctly, yeah, Johnny Jr. Yeah, look at it. I'm just gonna pile them on like John, John, Johnny. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. We got more jewels. Very nice indeed. I feel like blessed beyond measure. I said when I got up this morning, today's gonna be a great day, right? Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't even grab it all. I'm going to say, Karen, yes. Although this is Jennifer. You're not Jennifer, you're Karen. Unless you know somebody who sells paparazzi. But this is paparazzi. Look at these fabulous stretch bracelets. Beautiful brown. That'd be pretty for fall. Put it over here. Pink. Pink pearls. Ooh, this is pretty. So you, and you guys, you can wear this and you can decorate with paparazzi. That's the versatile. I, I used to buy so much paparazzi. Look at how pretty that is. Um, ooh, I love that. That matches that little rainbow ring. Another ring. A couple. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, I love this one. That's all blingy bling bling. And then the ring. I'm going to wear this one right now because I like it. And... I love sparkly things, as you guys all know. Ooh, look at, see, I'm mixing my metals, y'all. Don't be afraid to mix your metals. All right, oh, I'm not even done, my word. Ooh, look at how pretty these are, these little wrap bracelets. I love these. Ooh, this nice hot pink one, I love that one. 
How many two boxes? And what she sent me here, there must be something in here. Ooh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, crap. Oh. oh, we got all kinds of, look at how pretty those necklaces are. Little bling bling. Beautiful, like S-shaped tennis bracelet. I'd open that box. I feel like it's Christmas. This is like an early birthday gift, y'all. It's sparklicious for sure. Ooh, look at that. My kids will love that. Ooh, that's a knit. Oh, that's pretty. I was thinking it would be boyish, but no, look at how pretty little string bracelet. I love stuff like this. This would be actually, I think I might let Mike wear this for his Johnny Depp attire because that would probably, that kind of looks like a Johnny Depp Captain Jack Sparrow bracelet. Okay. Ooh, look at all these pearls. We got little earrings, little like clippy do horseshoe earrings. I love those. There's some more rings in here. These are little, they look like, oh, are these like the, the earrings that go up your ear? I think those are like the earrings that like extend up your ear. If I can show you guys. I think that's what these are. They're kind of cool. Oh yeah, very cool. They're like long earrings. I think they slide up your ear. She, I think she does. A little gemlet. There's some rings in here. I'm going to throw those in with the other ones. Look at how pretty these are. Nice emeralds. How pretty, my goodness gracious. I feel like a spoiled kid at Christmas. Ooh, look at this cool necklace. Oh wow, look at that clasp. That's very cool, right? Another company, Pop Runs. Oh, that's a bummer that they don't ship to Canada. Okay, and then I got one bag here. I don't know where to begin. There are so many, you guys are so generous, seriously. Like, you know, you, you get very humbled by this because you think you hear so much bad stuff going on in the world. But let me tell you something, guys. Um, it's like, there's beautiful people in the world. Oh, look at all these. These are like those Pandora bracelets, but you cut, you have, look, there's my birthstone. Look at this. It's a nice, pretty black one. Are these like, I don't know how to get them off. Are they like magnets or you just... I'll have to, I have to put my glasses on. Pretty green one. Oh, I like this one. Like turquoise. Oh, look at those sparkly beads. Those are like sparkle turquoise beads. Did you make these, Karen? I know, this is a stash. Thank you, Karen. I feel spoiled. Oh, this one's pretty. Pink, like the pale pink. I like that. I'm going to put that. I want to keep this all day. I don't want to, I'm going to make it sure it all gets downstairs. Um, and then, I think that's all that was in that bag. Yes. Oh, my word. Oh, <laughs> she sent me a pair of boots. Oh no, it's not a boot. I thought it was a boot. Oh guys, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful purse. And I love these purses because I like that they zip. It's got a handle that you can wear. Look at that. With all the trim franges is perfect for fall. Yes, there's more, Lydia. Um, I love this. Look at how beautiful that is. All that fringe, because you know I love like that western fringe. Perfect for... Um, Perfect for fall when you're wearing your boots. And I think this is the last one. Oh, it's broken, whatever it is. I'm not even going to attempt to take it out, but yeah. I will show you what's left of it. I'm not quite sure. But it was this beautiful thing, but it did break. You can thank the UPS drivers for that. Yeah, it matches my boots indeed. Those fringy boots. Keep that bag. Heck yeah, I'm keeping that bag for a purse. But yeah, look at that. That's a shame. I don't know what the bottom looks like, but. Um, it is. Uh, 
um, that unfortunately is definitely irreparable. Um, it's like in a gajillion pieces. A boutique has been delivered. I know, right? I know, Karen, that's not your fault. You did a heck of a job wrapping. That's, they are so rough on packages, I've noticed. Yeah, but it's beautiful. And unfortunately, I, if it was like in a couple of pieces, I would try to glue it back together, but it's like in shards. I can't fix it, Phyllis. There is way too much in there. But anyway, Karen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I thought I heard something. Uh, amazing, amazing happy mail. Um, I truly appreciate it all. And I'm like excited to dig through it and take and, and I, speaking of which I need to organize my jewelry y'all. Um, I do, I need to sit in my closet for about two days and just, uh, have Rhonda Kayser come over here. Cause she's, you know, always yelling at me to clean my closet and, uh, have her go through it with me. Cause it's a hot mess. Um, anyway, you guys are awesome. I will show you this one more time and then I am going to take a picture of it. I'll take it downstairs, but check it out, y'all. If you just top it on, go back and watch the replay of how this uh, little thing came to being because it's so flipping adorable. I love everything about this. It's better in person than it was in my mind. And that's, you know, usually I can... It kind of takes on a life of its own halfway through. So get a glass cutter and cut the bottom of the vase. I could do that, Jill. I'd probably give it to Mike. Um, yeah, and Melissa, you got a point there. If you had insurance, Karen, get a claim on it because I could take a picture of it for you. But Karen, seriously, this is all beautiful stuff. I'm totally honored and humbled that you guys like uh, gift me with such awesome things. I appreciate it. Yeah, you could, Carolyn, but it's kind of jagged on the on the bottom. Use the vase for mosaic. But like, like I did it before, I did. Yeah, it's true too, Clara. I'm gonna take a picture. I'll probably do a reel with this with the candle at night so you can see it, because in the day you're never gonna see it. Um, but I will post the picture of it complete now outside, and then I'll do a reel on it tonight with the candle inside of it. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. You guys are awesome. And tomorrow I will post that video of me opening up the e Happy Meal from last week. Um, I had a couple of things and, uh, oh, before I forget, I almost forgot to show you the decoupage paper queen I got. I gotta show you. This is all from the new collection. Seriously? Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. She looks like just like she looks in a place like I want to be. I want to be where she is at. Um, this is gorgeous. Check out this beautiful floral. Love these colors in here. Um, look at this. This is the size A3. These are the larger ones, 11 by 16. These are the ones I, I usually prefer. Um, got little cute little spiders in here. I cannot wait to do something with these. These are going to be amazing. Look at all the things. You can cut this up and make all these it's going to be cool. I love this one. And I really love this one. I think I'm going to do some Halloween potion bottles with these. Look at all those labels, poison, arsenic, and all that stuff. But it's got all kinds of cool stuff um, like that. You will see it lit up. I'm going to do a, a reel on it tonight. Look for it on my page. Make sure your notifications are on when I post. I love, love, love this one. I love this paper. It's so cute. That would be cute, like on a wall hanging. Absolutely love these. Oh, look at that beautiful blue. I love the decoupage queen rice paper. Look at this. And I got to get some plain rice paper. I've got to show you Catherine at Digital Deco Designs. I've got a ton of paper I need to print from her. She has a new line release out too. So you guys check out all the things in my link tree. Love this. This is just like letters, collection decodes, and on trangers. I don't speak French, but it's just a cool background picture. I love it. So that's what I got from the Decoupage Queen. Very excited to use those for uh, fall and Halloween. Um, potion bottles. Oh, yep. And then you can put those cute little labels on there. Amazing. So you guys check out all the things in my link tree. It's all full of good stuff. If you have any questions, you can message me. It might take me a couple days to get back to you, but I do look at all my messages. So anyway, I hope you guys are awesome. Have a fabulous Monday, rest of your Monday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be with my mom all day. She has an eye doctor's appointment. So she's going to be, um, I don't think if I go live tomorrow, it's going to be tomorrow night, like seven, eight ish 
Eastern, so I don't know. Um, yeah, Bruce Sender would need that paper, Tamara. Um, so anyway, guys, check out the things in my link tree and in my Amazon store. It's all full of chalk stuff, my shirt. Um, and uh, you guys, if I don't see you tomorrow night, I will see you on Wednesday for sure. You guys stay sparkly. See you next time. Bye.